என் பொண்ணோட லைஃப்ல மிகப்பெரிய டர்னிங் பாயிண்ட்னா இவள நான் சிஎஸ்சில டாலி கோர்ஸ் படிக்க வச்சதா எஸ் எங்க இன்டர்வியூ போனாலும் வேல்யூபிள் சர்டிபிகேட்ஸ் இருக்கானே கேப்பாங்க அனனா சிஎஸ்சில ஜிஎஸ்டி யோட டாலி படிச்சேன் அத ஈஸியா ஜாப் பிடிச்சேன் நீங்களும் சிஎஸ்சில ஜிஎஸ்டி யோட டாலி கோர்ஸ் படிங்க ஈஸியா ஜாப் பண்ணுங்க சிஎஸ்சி லார்ஜஸ்ட் டாலி ஆத்தரைஸ்ட் இன்ஸ்டிடியூட் வெல்கம் டு டைகர் மேட் சேனல் uh this session is the continuation of the previous session already we are going we are find out the evolute of the given curves isn't it right the uh, evolute of the given curve y square is equal to 4ax parabola and then evolute of the uh, hyperbola evolute of the ellipse now i am going to find out the evolute of the rectangular hyperbola right find the evolute of the rectangular hyperbola x y equal to c square x y equal to c square how it is differ from hyperbola a rectangular hyperbola is a particular case of hyperbola how it is differ from hyperbola the angle between the asymptotes of the hyperbola is at right angle then the hyperbola is called rectangular hyperbola this is the standard form of rectangular hyperbola x y is equal to c square right now i am going to find out the evolute of the rectangular hyperbola right? right what is the parametric form of rectangular hyperbola the parametric form of parametric form of x is equal to c square is what already told you x is equal to ct comma y is equal to c by t the parameter in terms of theta so i am going to find out x plus by taking differentiation with respect to t it becomes c what is y does y sorry 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 c t and c by t isn't it c t and c by t what is y does minus c by t square 1 by t derivative of 1 by t is minus 1 by t square right so what is y1 y1 is nothing but dy by dy by dx dy by dx that can be written as dy by dt here by dx by dt what is dy by dt that is y dash minus c by t square by dx by dt is c see it that is equal to minus c by t square into 1 by c see it this c cancel with this c so minus 1 by t square is the value of y1 so what is y1 here so y1 is equal to minus 1 by t square now differentiate with respect to x to get y2 so derivative of y1 with respect to x becomes y2 minus 1 by t square becomes minus 1 into what is 1 by t square minus 2 by t cube derivative of 1 by t square is minus 2 by t cube into derivative of t with respect to x that is equal to 2 by t cube into 1 by dx by dt isn't it what is dx by dt is nothing but x dash what is x dash x dash is c so that is equal to 2 by t cube into 1 by c isn't it 1 by x dash that is the value of x dash x dash is c so 1 by c so what is y2 y2 is equal to what 2 by c into t cube so what is y2 equal to 2 by c into t cube is the value of y2 so i find out y1 and y2 now i am going to find out x bar and y bar so what is x bar x minus y1 into 1 plus y1 square by y2 isn't it what is x ct isn't it x is ct x is equal to ct and y is equal to c bit isn't it x is ct minus what is y1 minus 1 by t square into 1 plus y1 square square of this value 1 by t power 4 isn't it square of this value minus 1 square become plus 1 and then t square becomes t power 4 by y2 y2 is 2 by c t cube that is equal to ct this minus minus becomes plus so 1 by t square into this becomes reciprocal multiplication so c by t ct cube by 
2 into 1 plus 1 plus 1 by t power 4, isn't it? 1 plus 1 by t power 4. Now, I just write out this t square with this t cube. So, t is remaining. So, ct plus ct by 2 into 1 plus 1 by t power 4. Now, I am going to multiply this inside the value. So, ct plus ct by 2 plus ct by 2 into 1 by t power 4, isn't it? So, ct plus ct by 2 here, you can take LC as 2. So, 2 ct plus ct plus, I can cancel this t with this, this t power 4, it becomes t cube. So, 2 c by 2 into t cube, right? Here, ct plus half of ct, isn't it? That means 1 and half ct, that means 2 ct plus ct by 2. So, 3 ct by 2, isn't it? I write it here. So that is equal to x bar is equal to 3ct by 2 plus c by 2t cube. Here we can take c by 2 as common from both of the two terms. Okay, c by 2 is common. So what is remaining? 3t in the first term plus c by 2 is taken as common. So 1 by t cube is in the second term. This is the value of x bar. I call it as equal to number 1. Now I am going to find out y bar in terms of t. Okay. So, I find out x bar in terms of the parameter t. Okay, now I am going to find out y bar. What is y bar? y plus 1 plus y1 square by y2. What is y? y is nothing but c by t. So, c by t plus 1 plus y1 square. y1 square is 1 by t power 4. Right? y2. y2 is 2 by c t cube. Isn't it? Right? So c by t plus this this becomes the reciprocal multiplication. That's a c t cube by 2 into 1 plus 1 by t power 4. Now I am going to multiply this inside the bracket. So c by t plus c t cube by 2 plus c t cube by 2 into 1 by t power 4. Isn't it? Right? Now <coughs> I can write out this t cube with this t power 4. So 1 by so t is remaining in the denominator. So c by t plus c t cube by 2 plus c by 2 t. Here c by t half of c by t. 1 by 2 into c by t. I am taking 2 t as LCM from both of the two terms. Okay. So 2 c plus c plus what is this term remaining? c t cube by 2. Right. I write it as same. Okay. Adding this term and this term by taking 2 t as LCM. So 2c plus c. So 3c by t. What is the value? So y bar is equal to 3c by 3c by 2t plus c t cube by 2. Here also I can take c by 2 as common. So 3 by t plus t cube. Is the value of y bar I call this equation number 2. Right? What is x bar? I find out c by 2 into three t plus 1 by t. 3 t plus 1 by t cube. Isn't it? This is the value of x bar. And then what is the value of y bar final c by 2 into 3 by t plus t cube. Right? I find out x bar and y bar in terms of the parameter t. Now I am going to eliminate this t from x bar and y bar to get the equation g of x bar comma y bar comma c equal to 0. Now I call it as equation number 3 and this is equation number 4. Right? Now, adding 3 and 4, add 3 and 4, 3 plus 4 implies x bar plus y bar. I am going to add both of the two. That is equal to c by 2 as common from both of the two terms, isn't it? So, I keep it as common. So, I add the terms inside the bracket. So, 3t plus 1 by t cube plus 3 by t plus t cube. 
isn't it? I write, I, now I am going to rewrite this terms by tq plus 1 by tq plus 3t plus 3 by t. We know that, we know that, what is the formula for a plus 1 by a the whole cube. a cube plus 1 by a cube plus 3a plus 3 by a. Right? This formula is obtained from a plus b the whole cube formula. What is the formula for a plus b the whole cube? a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b. By replacing b by 1 by a, you can get this answer. Right? So a plus 1 by a, by replacing b by 1 by a. So a cube plus 1 by a cube plus 3a into what is b? 1 by a into a plus 1 by a. Right? I can strike out this a with a. Multiply this 3 inside the bracket. So a cube plus 1 by a cube plus 3a plus 3 by a. Right? Isn't it? So that is the value of a plus 1 by a the whole cube. By replacing a by t you can get this result. Isn't it? a cube plus 1 by a cube plus 3a plus 3 by a. Same like that. So this can be written as c by 2 into a, a is t and b is 1 by t. So a t plus 1 by t the whole cube. Right? x bar plus y bar. Right? Now taking cube root on both sides. Cube root on both sides. Okay. So x bar plus y bar to the power 1 by 3 equal to what do you get? c by 2 the whole power 1 by 3 into 1 plus sorry t plus 1 by t the whole power 1 isn't it? This 3 will be eliminated by when we taking cube root on both sides 3 power 1 by 3 that 3 is cancelled with these 3 so the remaining will be t plus 1 by t isn't it? And now squaring on both sides squaring on both sides. So what? x bar plus y bar the whole power 2 by 3 is equal to c by 2 the power 2 by 3 into t plus 1 by t the whole square. Okay. Now I call it as equal to number 5. Similarly similarly I am going to subtract 4 from 3. Right? Similarly, I am going to subtract 4 from 3. So that means 3 minus 4 implies. What is 3 minus 4? This is 3, this is 4. So x bar minus y bar in the left hand side, c by 2, as usually come from both of the two terms. This minus this 3t plus 1 by t cube. Isn't it? Then minus 3 by t minus t cube. This minus this. So minus 3 by t minus t cube is here. Right. So now I am taking minus as common from these terms. So t cube. Okay. Right. I write it one more step. Minus 3t minus 1 by t cube plus 3 by t plus t cube. So I rewrite these terms inside the bracket by taking t cube as the first term and then minus 1 by t cube as the second term minus 3t plus 3 by t this is the formula for t minus 1 by t the whole cube this is the value of x bar minus y bar as usually going to taking cube root on both side taking cube root on both side what you will get x bar minus y bar the whole power 1 by 3 is equal to minus c by 2 the whole power 1 by 3 into t minus 1 by t isn't it taking cube root this cube will be eliminated this becomes 1 by 3 this becomes 1 by 3 and then squaring on both sides so what you will get x bar minus y bar to the power 2 by 3 is equal to when we taking square this minus will be eliminated we don't bother about that 1 by 3 
So taking square, this minus will be eliminated. So it becomes plus c by 2, the whole power 2 by 3 into t minus 1 by t, the whole square. We can't just this number 6, right? We can't just this number 6. Now, what is 5 minus 6? What is 5 minus 6? Still, I am not eliminating the parameter t from x, from x bar and y bar, isn't it? Till the parameter is not eliminated here. So, till the parameter is uh, available in both of the two. So, now I am going to eliminate by subtracting 6 from 5. Okay, 5 minus 6 is equal to 5 minus 6 is equal to. What is 5 minus 6? This is 6, isn't it? So, 5 minus 6. Five minus six. So x bar plus y bar to the power two by three minus x bar minus y bar to the power two by three equal to right. In both of the two terms, c by two the whole power two by three is common. So I write it as c by two whole power two by three. So what is remaining? This minus this, isn't it? So t plus one by t the whole square minus t minus one by t the whole square. We know the formula for a plus b the whole square minus a minus b the whole square is equal to what? 4 times ab. Suppose a plus b the whole square plus a minus b the whole square is equal to what? 2 times a square plus b square. Now, this is in the form of a plus b the whole square minus a minus b the whole square. This is in the first one. a plus b the whole square minus a minus b the whole square where a is t and b is 1 by t. So I am taking this formula, the result will be 4ab. What is this value? 4ab. So c by 2, the whole power 2 by 3 into 4 into, what is a? t. What is b? 1 by t. 4ab. This is the value 4ab. Where a is t, b is 1 by t. So we can cancel this t with this t. So 4 into c power 2 by 3 by 2 power 2 by 3. Right. Look at here. Now the parameter is eliminated, isn't it? Right. Now by simplifying in the right hand side, you can get the answer. C power 2 by 3. By what is 2 square? It is 4. It is square written as 4 power 1 by 3. Taking this 4 into the numerator, already it is 4 power 1. So 1 minus 1 by 3 into C power 2 by 3. What is 4 power 1 minus 1 by 3? 4 power 2 by 3 into c power 2 by 3. This can be written as 4 c the whole power 2 by 3. This is the value of x bar plus y bar to the power 2 by 3 minus x bar minus y bar to the power 2 by 3. Right? That's it. Now, we obtain the equation g of x bar y bar comma C, right? That's it. So x bar, y bar is lies on. What can you say about x bar and y bar? X bar, y bar are center of the coordinates of the given curve, isn't it? Therefore, C, x bar comma y bar lies on. X bar comma y bar satisfies. Satisfies the equation x plus y the whole square minus x minus y the whole square equal to 4c the whole power sorry by 2 by 3 isn't it that's all isn't it right by replacing x bar by x and y bar by y right substitute this point here you can get this result so this center of coordinate satisfying this curve isn't it so the path traced by the center of curvature is this one so this is the evolute of the given curve so locus of this is the path this curve is updated by path traced by the center of curvature. Therefore, locus of center of curvature is x plus y the whole power 2 by 3 minus x minus y whole power 2 by 3 equal to 4c power 2 by 3, which is the evolute of the curve rectangular right over x is equal to c square. Okay, that's all.
Next one. Find the you are going to top the asteroid card. You are going to top the asteroid card. X power 2 by 3 plus Y power 2 by 3 equal to A power 2 by 3. Right? Solution. Already we know this is the asteroid curve. What is the parametric form of this one? The parametric parametric equation of x power 2 by 3 plus y power 2 by 3 equal to a power 2 by 3 is x equal to a cos cube theta and y is equal to b sin cube theta, isn't it? Right. So, I am going to find out y1 and y2 by taking derivative with respect to theta. Therefore, what is x does? A into differentiate with respect to theta. So, 3 cos square theta into what is the derivative of cos theta? Minus sin theta. I write it as minus 3a sin theta into cos square theta. This is the value of x dash. And then taking derivative, taking with respect to theta, taking derivative with respect to theta, it will be y dash b into. So, 3 sin square theta, sin cube theta, derivative of sin cube theta is 3 sin square theta into derivative of sin theta is cos theta. So, that can be given as 3b sin square theta into cos theta. So, what is dy1? y1 is nothing but dy by dx. That can be written as dy by d theta by dx by d theta. What is dy by d theta? That is here 3b. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 What is the parametric equation of x power 2 by 3 plus y power 2 by 3 is equal to a, a power 2 by 3 x equal to a cos theta comma y equal to sorry, sorry. A a sin cube theta. Okay, not B. Right? So A sin cube theta. X equal to A cos cube theta and Y equal to A sin cube theta. So 3A. 3A sin square theta into cos theta divided by minus 3A sin theta into cos square theta. You can strike out this 3A with 3A, 1 sin theta with this sin theta and cos square theta with this cos theta. So what is remaining? minus sin theta by cos theta is remaining that is equal to minus tan theta that is the value of y1 taking derivative with respect to x y1 becomes y2 equal to minus derivative of tan theta with respect to secant square theta into d theta by dx derivative theta with respect to x okay So what is y1 we obtain? y1 is equal to minus tan theta, isn't it? Now y2 is what is y2? Minus secant square theta into 1 by x dash, isn't it? 1 by dx by d theta. That is equal to minus secant square theta into what is x d x dash? But x is a cos cube theta, isn't it? Then what is x does? Minus 3a sin theta into cos square theta, isn't it? And already we find out. So minus minus becomes plus. So 3a into what is secant square theta? 1 by cos square theta into sin theta into cos square theta. You can strike out this cos square theta with cos square theta. So, 3a sin theta is the value of y2, right? Extremely sorry. That is equal to minus secant square theta into 1 divided by the derivative of x, isn't it? What is x? a cos q theta. Then x is equal to minus 3a sin theta cos square theta, isn't it? Reciprocal of the x dash value, we should write it here. So, sin theta into cos square theta. Minus minus becomes plus. 
1 by 3a, this 3a comes to the front and what is 1 by secant square theta? It is cos square theta into 1 by sin theta into cos square theta. That is equal to 1 by 3a sin theta into cos power 4 theta is the value of y2. Sorry. What is y2? 1 by 3a sin theta into cos power 4 theta. Right? So, I find out y1 and y2. I finish the first step. Now, I am going to find out x bar and y bar in terms of theta. What is x bar? x minus y1 into 1 plus y1 square by y2. What is x? a cos cube theta minus what is y1? minus tan theta minus tan theta into what is y what is y1 square 1 plus tan square theta isn't it square of this value by y2 what is y2 1 divided by 3a sin theta cos power 4 theta isn't it now simplify this that is equal to what is that value? A cos cube theta. This minus minus becomes plus tan theta. Into this goes to the numerator by taking reciprocal multiplication. So 1 by 3a sin theta into cos power 4 theta. And then 1 plus tan square theta. Isn't it? That's all. So A cos cube theta plus what is tan theta? Sin theta by cos theta into 1 by 3A sin theta into cos square 4 theta into what is 1 plus tan theta? Secant square theta. 1 plus tan square theta is secant square theta. What is the value of secant square theta? 1 by cos square theta. I write it directly. 1 by cos square theta. Is it right one? Sorry. This minus minus becomes plus tan theta. This goes to the numerator when we are taking reciprocal multiplication. So into 3a, sorry. Sin theta cos power 4 theta into 1 plus tan square theta. Right? That is equal to a into cos cube theta plus 3a into 1 by what is the value of sin theta 1? What is the value of tan theta 1? Sin theta by cos theta into sin theta into cos power 4 theta into what is 1 plus tan square theta? Secant square theta. This secant square theta can be written as 1 by cos square theta. Isn't it? Right? So I can cancel this cos square and cos cube. Totally cos cube theta. We can cancel this cos power 4 theta, so our 1 is same. It is in denominator is cos cube theta. I cancel that cos cube theta with cos power 4 theta. Cos theta is remaining in the numerator. So what? So a cos cube theta plus 3a sin square theta cos theta is the value of x bar. Okay, what is x bar? A cos cube theta plus 3a sin square theta into cos theta is the value of x bar. Now, what is y bar? y bar equal to y plus 1 plus y1 square by y2, isn't it? What is y? a sin cube theta plus 1 plus, what is y1? minus tan theta square will be plus tan square theta. So, 1 plus tan square theta by, what is y2? 1 by 3a sin theta into cos power 4 theta right so a sin cube theta into this goes to the numerator isn't it plus 3a sin theta into cos power 4 theta reciprocal multiplication into what is 1 plus tan square theta secant square theta what is secant square theta 1 by cos square theta isn't it 
1 by cos per theta. I just type out that cos per theta with this cos per 4 theta. So remaining cos per theta is in the numerator. So a sin cube theta plus 3a sin theta cos per theta is the value of y bar. So what is y bar? a sin cube theta plus 3a sin theta cos per theta. Right? Right. So now I find out x bar and y bar in terms of the parameter theta. Now I am going to eliminate this theta from x bar and y bar. Right? Call the, now I call that this is equal number 1 and this is equal number 2. Add 1 and 2. 1 plus 2 implies what will get? x bar plus y bar. Isn't it? Equal to what? What is in the right hand side? a cos q theta plus 3a sin square theta cos theta plus a sin q theta plus 3a sin theta cos square theta. Isn't it? By taking a as common from all the times. So cos cube theta, isn't it? And then plus sin cube theta plus ah, now I write this term 3 cos square theta plus sorry, 3 cos square theta sin theta, isn't it? Finally, this term plus 3 cos theta sin square theta, right? I am, a is common from all the terms, so I am taking it as common. So, a is taken as common, so cos cube theta plus here a is taken as common, so sin cube theta plus a is common, so 3 cos square theta sin theta plus 3 so cos theta sin square theta. Why I write it here? Why I write it this term? Because what is a plus b the whole cube formula? a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. Right? So this is of the form a plus b the whole cube where a is cos theta. This is cos theta. This b is sin theta. Substitute here cos cube theta plus sin cube theta plus 3 cos square theta sin theta plus 3 cos theta sin square theta it is here so this is the value of cos theta plus sin theta the whole cube okay right so what is this value so a into cos theta plus sin theta the whole cube this is the value of x bar plus y bar now i am going to taking cube root on both side cube root on both sides. So what will get x bar plus y bar to the power 1 by 3 equal to a power 1 by 3 into cos theta plus sin theta whole power 1. That 3 will be eliminated when we taking cube root. Right? Squaring on both sides. Squaring. So x bar plus y bar to the power 2 by 3 equal to a power 2 by 3 into cos theta plus sin theta the whole power sorry cos theta plus sin theta whole power 2 isn't it taking squaring and positive power 2 it becomes 2 by 3 this becomes 2 by 3 this becomes 2 and similarly similarly you can get x minus y bar the whole power 2 by 3 is equal to a power 2 by 3 into cos theta minus sin theta the whole power 2. Just replacing plus by minus you can get x bar minus y bar the whole square is equal to a power 2 by 3 into cos theta minus sin theta whole square. Right? Now I call this as equation number 3 and this as equation number 4. Right? That's all. Now I am adding 3 and 4 to get the answer, right?
by adding 3 and 4. So 3 plus 4 implies. What you will get? 3 plus 4. X bar plus y bar the whole power 2 by 3 plus x bar minus y bar to the power 2 by 3 is equal to from both of the two terms in the right hand side a power 2 by 3 is common I am taking a power 2 by 3 is common right so cos theta plus sin theta the whole square plus cos theta minus sin theta the whole square isn't it right cos theta plus sin theta the whole square plus cos theta minus sin theta the whole square. What is this value? a plus b the whole square plus a minus b the whole square. This is the value of this is the value of 2 times a square plus b square. a square plus b square. Where a is cos theta, b is sin theta. So it is of the form a plus b the whole square plus a minus b the whole square. So what is the value? 2 times a square plus b square. Already I told you. So what is this value? This becomes 1. So a power 2 by 3 into 2 into 1. Now, now theta is eliminated from the relationship x bar and y bar. Look at that. So, theta is eliminated here. Right? Therefore, what is x bar y bar? Center of curvature satisfies therefore C satisfies the equation x plus y the whole power 2 by 3 plus x minus y the whole power 2 by 3 equal to 2 into a power 2 by 3 right so the center of curvature is lies on this curve that means the moving the path traced by the center of curvature is this one that is locus of locus of center of curvature x bar comma y bar is what? x plus y the whole square sorry x plus y the whole power 2 by 3 plus x minus y the whole power 2 by 3 equal to 2 into a power 2 by 3 which is the the root of x power 2 by 3 plus y power 2 by 3 equal to a power 2 by 3 that's all right which is the root of this one now i will bring g of x comma y comma x comma y comma c equal to right that's all finally the last one problem The last one problem in evolution. Find the evolution of the curve. Find the evolution of the curve. X equal to A into cos theta. A into cos theta plus theta into sin theta y equal to a into sin theta minus theta cos theta. Okay. Find the evolution of the curve x equal to a into cos theta plus theta sin theta y equal to a into sin theta minus theta cos theta. Right, okay. So, in this problem, what is the difference between the previous problems and this problem? Here, the parametric form is directly given to you. So, no need to write the parametric form. Right. Already they give an equation in the parametric form. So directly we go for finding y1 and y2 by taking derivative with respect to theta. So x is equal to a into cos theta plus theta sin theta, isn't it? Right? So what is x does? dx by d theta. A into what is the unit of cos theta minus sin theta plus applying product between the two. So theta derivative of theta with respect to theta is 1. 1 into sin theta plus theta into derivative of sin theta becomes cos theta okay that is equal to a into minus sin theta plus sin theta plus theta cos theta ok 
okay we can strike out minus sin theta with plus sin theta that is equal to a into theta cos theta a into theta cos theta is the value of x dash x dash is equal to a theta cos theta now i am going to find out y dash what is y y is equal to a into sin theta minus theta cos theta okay so y is y dash a into what is derivative sin theta it becomes cos theta minus applying product to between that two so theta derivative of theta is 1 1 into cos theta plus theta into derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta is it right apply new baby rule between that two minus is in the opposite okay so a into cos theta multiply this minus into the right minus cos theta minus minus becomes plus theta sin theta theta sin theta this cos theta is cancel with this minus cos theta so remaining will be a into theta sin theta a into theta this is the value of y dash right this is the value of y dash a into theta into sin theta right? after find out x dash and y dash go for finding y1 what is y1 dy by dx that is equal to dy by d theta by dx by d theta what is dy by d theta it is y dash a theta sin theta by a into theta cos theta you can strike out this a theta with a theta so sin theta by cos theta becomes tan theta this is the value of y1 now to find y2 differentiate with respect to x so y1 becomes y2 what is tan theta derivative of tan theta is secant square theta into d theta by d x is it right? and theta with respect to x so what is secant square theta 1 by cos square theta into this is the value of dx by d theta nothing but x dash so 1 by cos square theta into what is x dash 1 by a theta cos theta isn't it tan theta is secant square theta into d theta by dx So second square theta is one by cos square theta into dx by d theta. What is dx by d theta? A theta cos theta. That is equal to one by a theta into cos cube theta is the value of y two. So y one is equal to tan theta and y two is equal to one by a theta into cos theta. So after find out y one and y two, go for finding x bar and y bar. What is the formula for x bar? X minus y one into one plus y one square by y two. So, what is x here? A into A into cos theta plus theta sin theta minus y one. What is y one? Tan theta. Tan theta into one plus y one square tan square theta by y two one by a theta cos cube theta is it right? I multiply this a inside the bracket so a cos theta plus a theta sin theta minus what is tan theta? That can be written as sin theta by Cos theta into this go this becomes reciprocal multiplication so this goes to the numerator a theta into cos cube theta into one plus tan square theta is one plus tan square theta is secant square theta okay I write that secant square theta into one by cos square theta directly right so what is in the denominator cos square theta into cos theta cos cube theta 
So that cos cube theta is cancelled with this cos theta. So what is remaining? A cos theta plus A theta sin theta minus A theta sin theta. So we can cancel both of the two. So A cos theta is the value of x bar. So what we are doing x bar? A cos theta. And then go for finding y bar in terms of theta. What is y bar? y bar is equal to y plus 1 plus y1 square by y2. Isn't it? So what is y? y is already a into sin theta minus theta cos theta plus 1 plus what is y1 square? y1 is tan theta, so y1 square is tan square theta by y2. What is y2? 1 by a theta cos cube theta. Isn't it? And multiply this in the way. a sin theta minus a theta cos theta plus this goes to the numerator by taking reciprocal multiplication. a theta cos cube theta into 1 plus tan square theta is secant square theta, isn't it? Secant square theta, that secant square theta can be written as 1 by cos square theta, isn't it? So 1 by cos square theta. So we can strike out that cos square theta with this cos cube theta. So cos theta is remaining. So a sin theta minus a theta cos theta plus a theta cos theta. So we can strike out that minus a theta cos theta with plus a theta cos theta. So remaining a sin theta is the value of is the value of y bar. What is y bar? A sin theta. So now uh, I obtained x bar and y bar in terms of the parameter theta. Now I am going to eliminate theta from x bar and y bar to form the equation g of x bar comma y bar comma c equal to zero. This is very easiest one by taking Squaring and adding, you can get the answer. Okay, right? Count as as usually. This is 1, this is 2. Now, 1 square plus 2 square in place. Square of the first one, 1 square plus 2 square. Okay? So, square of the right hand side. So, A square cos square theta. Square of the second one. A square sin square. Just I am taking square and add. Okay. What is the square value? X, X bar square is equal to A square cos square theta. Y bar square is equal to A square sin square theta. So A square is common. Take it from the two terms. So what is cos square theta plus sin square theta? It is 1. So A square is 1. That is equal to A square. Therefore, now I am eliminated theta from X bar and Y bar. Right? Therefore, what is x bar and y bar c? x bar comma y bar satisfies the equation x bar plus y square is equal to a square. Isn't it? Right? This is nothing but the equation of the circle in standard form. Center of the origin having radius a. Right? So this center of curvature, the center of curvature of this car lies on this circle. Okay, so this car is the path traced by the center of curvature, center of curvature, and therefore locus of C x bar comma y bar is x square plus y square is equal to a square. This is a circle, isn't it? It's a circle. So, this circle is the evolute of the given curve. Therefore, x square plus y square is equal to a square is the evolute of the given that's a very easiest one and most important question also. Uh, 
in the examination paper the uh, show that the evolution of the curve is a circle nearly they have in the number in the the procedure the same one last time we can get the circle so this circle is the evolution of the event curve that's all thank you so today we discussed all the problems till now we discussed each and every problem based on the evolution so evolution is over with this session thank you என் பசங்களோட ஃபியூச்சருக்கு எல்லாமே நான் பெஸ்டாக தான் கொடுத்துருக்கேன் இந்த லீவ்ல ப்ரோக்ராமிங் ரோபோட்டிக்ஸ் அனிமேஷன் அபாக்கஸ்னு எல்லாமே பெஸ்டாக சொல்லி கொடுக்குற நம்ம சிஎஸ்சி கம்ப்யூட்டர் கோர்ஸ்ல சேர்த்து விட்டுருக்கேன் இப்போ அவங்க திங்கிங் வே